Shazam! Review. Welcome to Life in My Shoes, it's way up there, and... Jojo Does Things. Today we're doing a review of... Shazam. Shazam. Yeah. Um, so we have a couple questions. We went and saw Shazam last night, reluctantly. Yeah. Because you didn't originally want to see it, although yeah. I thought you would really enjoy it. So we went last night to a very late showing, rolled back into the house about midnight, um, but we both yeah. really enjoyed it. And we wanted to do kind of a question review. So we yeah. sat down and came up with five questions. I came up with five questions. He came up with five questions. I helped a little bit. But uh, he came up with five questions. And we're going to answer those questions for you. As a caveat, spoiler alert. Because yes. some of this may be a spoiler. Right, Joe? Yeah. But before we get into the questions, what's the movie about? The movie is about the DC character called uh, Shazam. He originally was called Captain Marvel, but they really? had uh, some legal issues with the Marvel Comics. Um, I believe it was originally a Fawcett character, um, which was a comic company, and DC acquired it. Um, he's a, a young teenage boy, probably about Josiah's age, uh, that uh, is granted powers by a wizard. Uh, when he says uh, this name, Shazam, says, yeah. it all stands for something. It's like the strength of someone, the... Um, speed of someone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he's got to save the world from a guy being possessed by the seven deadly sins who has a prosthetic eye. Dr. Savannah. Yeah. All right. Let's jump right in. Josiah is, or JoJo is going to ask the yeah. questions. So All right. in no particular order. I don't know which one to choose. Just pick one. All right. First off, what was your favorite character and why? You want me to answer? If I answer this one first, you answer the next one first. All right. Okay. My favorite character was Freddie Freeman. So he's yeah. one of the housemates of Billy Batson, who is uh, Shazam. <coughs> and uh, I like him because he's the uh, comic, um, the comedic element. Yeah. He's the character that's intended to be funny. And uh, he does a real good job. I think it, the kid, he's cast excellently as a kid. Yes. Um, so. And I have to say, he's my favorite too. Yeah. He's a really good character. Yeah. He's really funny, funny, right? Really funny. Yeah. All right. On to the next question. What did you think of the casting of the movie, and did and did the cast do a good job of their roles? So I'll let you answer this one. So first. I think they did because Sh Shazam, the, the the Shazam superhero. Did a good job of still acting like a kid, because really he's just a kid. Mm -hmm. I think his name is Zachary Levi or Levi I think Zachary. It's Billy. Well, his character or, name was yeah. Billy Batson. Yeah, but the person playing him. The the boy or the adult. The adult. Yeah, I, that's Zachary Levi. All right. Um, yeah, I think they did a good job. I think they did a good job casting. <coughs> um, so Zachary Levi does a great job of portraying Shazam. Uh, as a, a teenager, so he's a fun character. I think he carries the tone. The whole tone of the movie is that tone. It's a fun, uh, enjoyable, um, kid-ish uh, type of movie. Uh, I think the other uh, characters do a really good job as well. I think they did a good job of casting his housemates yeah. or his family. Um, I was not uh, over... Uh, I uh, was not over the moon for Dr. Savannah. Uh, based on comics, Savannah is uh, more of a, just a s intelligent, kind of whiny, hunched over, tiny, uh, evil scientist. And I think they cast him more as uh, just a, kind of a, just a normal dude, but almost like strong uh, personality. Mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't super impressed with that. I didn't like the casting. I didn't like how the story played with that character, but that's just me. All right. But also I thought the very beginning of the movie where we see him as a kid, he looked like Harry Potter. I think he kind of looked like him. Yeah. So yeah. About like I like, like Harry Potter. On to the next question. What did the movie do good? What did the movie do good? What were some good things about the movie? Again, I think the casting was really good. 
I think mm -hmm. uh, they cast really well with uh, Zachary Levi in the lead role. Um, I think the supporting cast was uh, pretty good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I think uh, the tone of the story, the fact that it is um, a little more of a lighthearted, it's, I think they kind of were finding their niche in uh, comic movies. Kind of like uh, for the Marvel, Ant-Man movies are a little more funny and comical. I think this is the DC version of that, and I think that's why it's winning at the box office. Yeah, and I, I, I don't, I'm not really a huge mega fan of superheroes. I mean, I like them, but I, I, I like things that are more funny than mm -hmm. superheroes, and that it was really funny. Yeah, a lot of good jokes. Yeah. All right, on to the next question: What did the movie do wrong? You gotta answer this one first. All right. I thought at the end of the movie, like Shazam lets all his spoiler house, how, spoiler yeah alert. Shazam lets all his housemates get superpowers too, and that was just kind of lame because they didn't do anything. I mean, they kind of helped, and they're like, "Oh, we got superpowers at the end." So that was one of mine. So I was a little surprised that they. Played the Marvel family card in the first movie, but as but as you said, <laughs> like some of the people got superpowers in the original. Yeah. So th in the original, again, there's a whole plethora of Marvels. There's uh, Captain Marvel Junior, which is Freddie Freeman. So if you kind of know comics, you're kind of sitting there thinking, "Oh, Freddie Freeman, he eventually becomes Captain Marvel Junior." Um, there was Mary. That was one of his uh, the kids in his family, uh, and you're like, mm, there's a Mary Marvel in comics. Um, there is a like a Grandpa Marvel. I don't even know his character name. And then there's this big Mister Tawny, a big talking uh, tiger. Yeah, big talking tiger in uh, the comics as well. So I thought that that I was surprised that they played that card real quick um, in the movie. And also, I I wasn't uh, super pleased with uh, Doctor Savannah. Again, I didn't. Um, I didn't like how they kind of portrayed the character. He became, uh, a, uh, equally powered to, uh, Shazam. And I didn't, I didn't like how that played, um, back to what they did. Well, I think the cameo of Mr. Mind, whom is the worm, the caterpillar. So if you looked spoiler again, if you looked, uh, kind of early in the movie, when, uh, people are first coming to the rock of eternity, you see Mr. Mind. Uh, just, in a cage, just a random caterpillar, like, and then later that? they kind of cameo it that the cage is gone, uh, yeah. that he's out of the cage, and you, what you have to do is like in a Marvel movie, you have to stick around through the credits, yeah, um, because uh, you get a little bit of extra if you hang around like, for a while, right? He sees Mister Mind, so yeah. yeah. Some spoiler again: Mister yeah. Mind uh, is in the uh, cell with Savannah at the end, and kind of is. Um, developing a uh, a villain duo yeah yes so uh right. last question um what was something surprising about the movie both good and bad am i answering this one first yeah um again mr mind i think mr mind the worm was in there i think that was a surprising um I think that there was a nod to Mr. Tawny, which is the tiger character, when he gets knocked into that booth and he gives that little kid the tiger. Oh, yeah. And then the little kid later is holding the tiger. Right? So that's what, yeah. I think that may have been a little nod to that characterization. Um, I was surprised that there was, um, what I would say, some non-kid tone to it. Yeah. Um, so some yeah. of the things the villain did were... A little shocking. I would have thought they would have played the kid card a little more. And um, he just kills a person. Well, it's the bad guys. Yeah, they they are brutal. Um, and just how how that happens, I thought was a little bit uh, strong tone for a movie that I yeah. felt was more targeted towards oh. uh, kids, yeah. older kids. So that was a surprise for me. But I mean, I think mm -hmm. you're you don't like those kind of movies that have that kind of scary stuff in them no, and you I'm generally a, don't and generally you don't like live action movies no um but what was your overall assessment of the movie i thought it was really good okay it, so because what makes up a movie for me is if it's funny mm -hmm. if it's not a good funny i probably don't like it if it's more serious and funny i don't like it but this was like 50 percent funny and 50 percent hero 
And I, I like that. Okay. And also there are some jokes. Lots of jokes. It's Lots. it's funny. Yeah, it's uh, again, I think that's why it's successful is cuz it's uh, not taking itself too seriously like Yeah. So in the DC universe of movies, you've only seen Justice League. Yeah, and pretty you, much. And what you liked about Justice League was the comedic element, was yeah. the Flash character. Yeah. Right? Um, so I haven't seen Aqua. Neither of us have seen Aquaman. I saw Wonder Woman. I thought Wonder Woman was really good. Mm -hmm. um, different tone completely. Uh, again, haven't seen Aquaman. Saw the Superman Batman, which was just not a good movie. Um, but... Um, it is what it is. Saw the original uh, Superman, which was a okay movie as well. So in the DC universe of movies, again, not having seen Aquaman, <clears throat> mm -hmm. which I hear phenomenal things about, um, I would say this one ranks up there with Wonder Woman as being one of the best in the DC uh, movies. And as for me, that's like only seen Justice League. It's much better than Justice League. But also one more thing is... Most superhero movies are like, oh, we as they as soon as they get powers, like, oh, we gotta save the world. They mess around for a bit. They're like messing with ATMs, getting beer. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Right. So you normally rate things, right? Yeah. So Jojo look into your. Uh... All right. So <coughs> out from of the movie, I give it a eight point nine out of ten. Hmm. I think McDonald's bacon fries ranked higher than that, didn't they? No. No, they didn't. Oh, you came back and changed yeah. the score. Yeah. Okay. The bacon. All right. Was, what about, but your book was... you just got ranked higher than that? Oh, yes. That's because I've played the game a lot and it's really cool. It's like. The, All right. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Uh uh. All right. No, uh, that's, for, that's, for a that's for a different video. All right. That's it for this week. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Yeah. Um, or the comments below and uh, we'll he's posting his video which yeah. is filming over there on his channel while I'm posting mine on my channel uh, thumbs up like uh, comment subscribe hit the bell to let us know uh, to be known when we post a new video yeah and what do you normally say um bye, bye.